Amongst the winners of the European Cup, the year of 1991 has a strong outlier. Red Star Belgrade got their hands on the European Cup that year, amidst the backdrop of civil war, defeating a legendary Marseille side in the final. Their victory, however, does not get the credit it deserves, often overlooked in the archives of club football's biggest competition in favour of other victories. This is the story of when Red Star Belgrade won the European Cup. Lushkapo Petrovic's Red Star Belgrade team had some impressive names in their side, including the likes of Robert Prozinecki and Darko Panchev. Petrovic built his team around the principles of total football, with emphasis on pace and high pressing. They qualified for the 1991 European Cup by virtue of winning the Yugoslav League, and they also won the Yugoslav Cup to make it a double. Yugoslavia, however, was not a good place to be at the time. The Republic of Yugoslavia had slowly entered a state of war, as several of its members declared independence following the death of the nation's leader Tito in 1980 and the rise of Slobodan Milosevic. The war would prove to be one of the bloodiest Europe has ever seen. Red Star Belgrade had to contend with this and aim to bring joy amongst all the bloodshed. Their European Cup campaign started against Swedish side Grasshopper, who were defeated 5-2 over the two legs. Next up were Rangers. The Scottish side were under the management of Graham Souness, and amidst their domestic dominance, many expected Rangers to go through. That is, until they got a proper look at Red Star. Souness sent his assistant, Walter Smith, to do a scouting report on Red Star. Smith returned by informing Souness, we're fucked. And indeed, they were. Rangers were defeated 4-1 on aggregate, as Red Star found their way into the quarter-finals, where they faced Dynamo Dresden. The East Germans were easily dealt with, thanks to 3-0 wins both home and away, and Red Star would head to the other side of the Iron Curtain for the semi-final, where they faced Bayern Munich. Red Star Belgrade faced the European giants at the Olympus Stadion, and their style outclassed the West Germans. Their high-pressing and counter-attacking play proved too much as goals from Dejan Savicevic and Darko Panchev saw them to a 2-1 win in Munich. The 2-2 draw at home sealed the deal, as Red Star Belgrade headed to their first ever European Cup final. Red Star would retain their league title, and were now looking for another double, one that would be even sweeter. The final would be hosted in Bari, and Red Star Belgrade arrived in Italy six days early, placed into semi-quarantine. Petrovic knew the interest that was being generated from other European clubs in his players, so he was keen to isolate them so that they could focus on the job in hand. Red Star were up against a strong Marseille side, who had the likes of Chris Waddle, Abedi Pele and Jean-Bierre Papin in their side. It was going to be a difficult task, but Petrovic decided a curveball was needed. The Yugoslavian league had a format where all draws would lead to a penalty shootout. As a result, their players were much more experienced in penalty shootouts, and could use this to their advantage. Petrovic switched his side's tactics for the final, opting to park the bus and see the game out to penalties. The plan worked, with the game being a dull stalemate that went the distance at 0-0, and it would be decided via penalties. Prosinetsky netted the first penalty, before Manuel Amaros's kick was saved by Stevan Stojanovic. Both sides then proceeded to net all their penalties, and with the scores at 4-3, Darko Panchev had the chance to make history, and he made no mistake. Panchev blasted his penalty into the net, before being mobbed by his delirious teammates. Red Star Belgrade had become only the second ever Eastern European team to win the European Cup, and they defied the odds time after time. Stojanovic lifted the trophy high in the air as the team celebrated. For all the bloodshed occurring in Yugoslavia, this was one thing that could not be taken away from them. They had fought off those that had written them off and reached the pinnacle of the club game. As the nation of Yugoslavia continued to break up, so did Red Star's legendary team. 
Grozinetsky went to Real Madrid, whilst Panchev, Mihalovic and Savicevic all joined teams in Italy. Petrovic would soon leave his position as manager to join Espanyol. The great team had fallen apart at their peak, but they had still performed a miracle. Players from different parts of Yugoslavia came together at a time of heavy division to conquer Europe, and it is improbable we will ever see such an underdog lift the European Cup again. It is a crying shame that Red Star Belgrade's European Cup victory so often gets overlooked, as it is one of football's greatest underdog stories that deserves iconic status.